Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about something that revolves around our daily life. Now, whenever we go out, be it with our friends or family, we are in a habit of clicking pictures everywhere, be it with your mobile camera or some other camera. We take pictures of our surrounding objects or selfies or of our friends and people. Now, when it comes to uploading them on a platform like Facebook or on your uh, blog or somewhere like that, you often think that it's a better idea and it is a better idea to edit those pictures, apply some effects and make changes according to your imagination and needs before you upload them. Now there are a lot of softwares and applications that are available to help you in tasks of uh, editing your photos. But one software that always uh, comes to our mind is Adobe Photoshop. Now, we know Adobe Photoshop as a very powerful and complex to use tool. Uh, so you must have uh, spent lots of time trying to find out tutorials on the web as how to get started uh, to using Photoshop for your needs. And most importantly, how to do the specific task that you are looking for. Now we are going to take a look at Photoshop, the basics that you would be needing to make your uh, photo editing tasks much easier. So let's get started. As you can see over here, I have already opened Photoshop for you. I am using the version Photoshop CC that is the latest version from Adobe and it has a lot of features but we don't need every feature uh, we need don't need to learn each and every feature to get to a task so the first and foremost thing that's important is to know uh, what our task is and how to achieve it in the minimum possible steps so let's get started now in order to create a new file we go to file just as in any other document like microsoft word and we click on new now it provides a whole lot of settings like uh, the size of the document that you want to use but for our first project we'll be using the default photoshop size and here you see the height and width that is mentioned the uh, resolution color mode so we leave the things as it is because photoshop knows the best and we are going to click on ok so here we have our document it's uh, pretty small as you can see but it will uh, suffice for the time being. Now let's take a small look at uh, the tools that are available. So on the left pane as you can see there are the tools. The first one is for select. You can use this to select a particular object. Okay. So and there are a lot of other tools for example this is the text tool in, in, in case you want to type out something on your uh, document on the right hand side i have this color palette from where i can choose colors and you can see if i select this red color with this small dropper kind of tool i see the color red change over here so that means if i do something using the uh, type out something that will be in the color red so basically this is the called the foreground color and the black that you can see on the background is the background color. Now what, uh, let's take a look at how Photoshop basically works. So I'm going down here and clicking on this panel called layers. Now what Photoshop basically does is it organizes each and every picture or image that we create into layers. Now, in olden days when uh, we had projectors using transparencies what we used to do was uh, we would create di drawings on transparencies which were like small pieces of cellophane paper and uh, stack them together to produce the desired uh, image and that used to be kept in front of the projector to be projected onto the screen so making uh, different objects on different transparencies like different pieces of cellophane paper gave us the ability to modify them according to our needs and make changes accordingly like if you draw a whole lot of uh, things on 
on a single piece of paper it's uh, really not possible to move every object from one place to another you have to erase and a lot of things so it makes editing difficult so as you can see here i have one layer now in the bottom panel i have this option of creating a new layer so if i click this i can see another layer that is created on top so now if i am going to do something over here suppose let's grab this brush tool yes this brush tool and paint something over here yes so i may have made this mark now i feel that okay this is uh, not appropriate this is not exactly what i want and i want to do something else and so what do i do i can simply click on this i can uh, this i icon this basically hides this layer so you see i have this dag uh, this scribbling on this layer and on the second layer suppose i choose a different color so let's say blue and i scribble something in it so now when i turn on the above layer i can see that the scribbling is on this part and uh, the letter a that i have written is on the lower layer but when i take a look at the entire thing the entire thing appears as a single image however i can still make changes to these layers separately like i have this uh, the scribbling as a separate part and this letter a as a separate part now if i want to erase this suppose i have grab my eraser tool from the left panel and let's erase this thing the red scribbling part to make the a visible so what i do i erase this part so what happens over here is when i erase this part even though my i'm moving my eraser on top of this uh part where i have both the scribbling and the a written i am erasing only the scribbling part and no, nothing happens to my a why is it so it is because i am having the letter a on a different layer now if i go select uh, this layer and i use the eraser you see not just the letter a but even the white color that you get of the paper even that is getting erased so we see uh, how the layers are useful and now i can create one more layer suppose and now what i do here i go grab my paint bucket tool like in ms paint you have seen you uh, can grab a um, paint bucket tool and uh, apply the color on the entire layer so what i'm going to do is i'm simply I have dropped the color on this layer. Now none of the below layers are visible to me. Just this layer is visible. And now suppose I want the scribbling to come on top of layer, the blue layer. What I do? I simply grab this and bring it on top. So now you see the background has changed to this blue and the red scribbling on top. So this is as far as the basics of how the layers. Uh, interact in a, a Photoshop document, and as we proceed, we'll uh, take a look at other tools uh, available in Photoshop.